the 1200 megawatt Tista Stain 3 hydroelectric project had a systemic start when in 1987 the Ministry of Power, Government of India, were eager to start this project after they received the detailed project report made by the Central Water Commission. They had requested the government of Sikkim, which was under the late Sri Narbada Bandari, to agree to carry out this project under the central sector with NHPC. Narbada Bandari agreed to the project in December 1988. Then, the NHPC made the final detailed project report and submitted it to the Central Electricity Authority for techno-economic clearance. The Central Electricity Authority in 1990 concluded that Tista Stage 3 was technically and economically doable. But this all took a third when in October 1991, the government announced a new liberalized power policy. This power policy allowed private parties to float at incorporate power generation companies in India, which led to a lot of new and inexperienced companies to form. The new government of Sikkim, led by Sri Pawan Kumar Chamling, made major changes and took advantage of the new liberalized power policy and withdrew the consent given to the LHPC. Chamling slightly offered the project to private parties, out of which Reliance, NEF and LNT were shortlisted. But none of these reputed companies could agree to the terms put forward by the Sikkim government, and therefore the project went into a standstill for a long time. Time passed by and with pressure mounting from the government of India, Chamling had no option left other than to approach the NHPC to take up the project in the year 2002. Chamling did not want to hand over the project to NHPC, but with pressure from the government of India, Chamling finally issued a letter of intent to NHPC, but imposed a clause which he knew NHPC would never agree to. In the terms of agreement, Chamling demanded that 100% jobs in the Tista Stage 3 project be reserved for locals, which the NHPC found impossible to agree to. The government of Sikkim claimed that a meeting was held between the state of Sikkim, NHPC and Central Electricity Authority on October 13, 2003. But there was no positive outcome as the NHPC could not completely agree on the terms and conditions sent by the Sikkim government. Unable to arrive at an agreement, the letter of intent was withdrawn on June 4, 2004. In a written submission to the High Court of Sikkim under WPC 40 of 2005, the state government has claimed that a negotiation committee was constituted for reaching an agreement on the terms and conditions with NHPC. But the crazy part is that there are no copies of minutes of the meeting held on 13 October 2003 bearing signatures of the participating representatives to corroborate their claim, nor did the Sikkim High Court ever cross-check on the claim. Another statement on this matter was, if NHPC's national policy did not allow it to take up power projects under the terms and conditions set by the Sikkim government, how come projects like Tista Stage 4 and Tista Stage 5 were awarded to NHPC by the state government? And this statement makes a lot of sense as 510 megawatt Tista Stage 5 hydroelectric project was awarded to NHPC in the year 2000 under terms beneficial to the state and its people. The 510 megawatt Tista Stage 5 hydroelectric project undertaken by NHPC was commissioned on April 2008 at the cost of rupees 2,666.95 crores and with zero investment from the state government. The revenue generated from the sale of 12% free power entitled to the state government is approximately rupees 100 crores annually. This did come quite as a shock to a lot of people when Chambling deliberately stayed away from awarding Tista Stage 3 to NHPC and wrongfully awarded the project to Athena Projects Private Limited, a company with zero network, zero experience and no finance nor expertise to execute a project of such magnitude. The 1200 megawatt Tista Stage 3 hydroelectric project is Sikkim's largest and India's second largest hydroelectric project. This project also had the capacity of becoming the highest revenue generator for Sikkim had it been implemented in the proper and transparent manner. Instead, Chamli conspired with power brokers and awarded such a prestigious project to a company that had zero experience in the power sector. 
nor need it have the financial ability to undertake a project of such magnitude, thereby compromising in the quality of the project, its viability, and ruin the project's prospects, thus incurring huge losses amounting to tens of thousands of crores to the state exchequer.